Hello world, I'm Ali Tai and I work on Azure Boards. Today, I'm going to talk about how your team can get started with Agile work planning using Azure Boards. We'll take a tour through our Kanban boards, backlogs, and more to show you how to get started and how we're helping Agile teams manage their work. First, we'll see how easy it is to set up Azure Boards for your team. Next, I'll show you how to build your board and backlog. Then, we'll dive into running a sprint. Finally, we'll look at how you can use work item queries and dashboards to track important work. Let's dive into the demo. To get started with Azure Boards, go to dev.azure.com where you can sign up for Azure DevOps for free. First, you'll have to log in with a Microsoft identity. Then choose a project name that you remember. I'll call my project the best app ever and leave it as private so only people who I add can see it. Once your project is created, go to the board section of Azure DevOps and you can get started adding work. To add a new item, simply click this plus button and type a title onto the card. You'll see that it's been added to your new column. After creating some more work items, you can move them between columns to visualize the various states that make sense for your project. You can also customize these columns and what shows on the cards so they make sense for your team. I'm going to switch to a project here that I already have set up with some work on it so you can see some of those customizations. You'll see here that I have work items in various states in this Fabricam Fiber Web project. We have the name of the work item, who it's assigned to, and its tags showing up on these cards. And you can update some of those fields from right here. You may have also noticed that some of these cards are highlighted. I've set up some styles on this board so that work jumps out when it needs a higher level of visibility. For example, I have a style set up to highlight cards red when they have the blocked tag to help get that work unblocked as soon as possible. This is the same view we just looked at, so you can still move any of these cards between columns to visualize the progress of your work. You can also add a series of tasks and have them show up on a card for lightweight tracking to support work elements of a story. Each of these cards can also be opened up for more details so that you can add as much information as you need. You can use this work item to hold formatted details, images, and links to other work items in the project, whatever you need to refine the work item. You can also customize the fields on your work items to meet your team's tracking needs. Each of these boards also has a backlog associated with it, where you can really get into the nitty gritty of prioritizing all the work that you have. Reordering on your backlog is as easy as drag and drop. You can also add a new work item here. And then move it around as necessary. There's also a view above this user stories backlog features, which lets you get a higher level view of the work being done and ensure that you have good cross team objectives. Each of these features can be expanded so you can see what related user stories are happening under it. So now you have all these user stories for awesome features that you're going to build. What about scheduling the actual tasks that need to get done? We're going to head over to the sprints view for that. For each of the user stories that you defined, this is an iteration view where you can create tasks for each story and visualize the progress being made on them in the current sprint. If something just isn't going to make it in this sprint, you can drag it over to a different sprint, plan sprint in the planning pane on the right. Like your other boards, each sprint also has a backlog view where you can easily see a story split into its tasks that have been scheduled into the sprint. You can also prioritize those tasks and stories and schedule tasks into other sprints as necessary. Finally, you can track work going on using queries. 
I'm going to create a query that will grab all of the active bugs under the current iteration. I have it set up here so that the work item type is a bug and that the iteration is the current one. I can create as many of these queries as I want and easily share the results with my team. One of the ways I can share the results is by creating a chart which visualizes the work. I'm going to set up a chart here which shows a count of who these bugs are assigned to so that I can take a look at how many bugs each engineer has to fix before the end of the sprint. I can also take these charts and pin them to my team's dashboard. Over here on my dashboard, I have a tailored view for my team, where I can share information and monitor progress to help inform workflow improvements. And that's it. A quick look at how you can plan, manage, and track work in Azure Boards. Thanks for watching.